Hey Twitch, welcome back. This is our back to our uh, original campaign setting here, Venture for Beginners. I know it's been a while, but also we just hit session 80. You see the little uh, tagline? It should be updated on my Twitch channel. Woo! Anyways, woo! Yay! And it's the session yeah. where you all die. Yay! <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, knock yeah. up wood, because if I die, I'll go out swinging like before. As as we die, Caben sees a uh, armored tiefling slowly disintegrate. Oh. Um. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> hey, at least it's not a black minotaur. You know, just, uh... um, anyway, so yeah, let's... Whoa, uh... whoa, whoa, trigger warning, please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> let's quick, uh, I know it's been... We played two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? Three weeks ago. A small session, one session, and then we had a little break again. Um, but anyways, really quick, what's been going on? Pick one thing, share about it, then let's dive back into the under underdark? Underground? Wherever the hell we are. We're not in the underdark. As far as I know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, Travis, you go first. Okay, um, shit, I actually have, uh, haven't been doing much. I, I guess last time we talked, um, uh, I was going on my family ski vacation, so that wasn't this past weekend, but the previous one. Uh, and it, <laughs> it, yeah, it was a fucking blast. It was a lot of fun, it was... Drinking and playing cards and getting out on the ski slopes, which I generally do once or twice a year. Um, and I managed not to injure myself, so that's always a plus. <laughs> um, no, it was a great it was a great time. It was a, a good vacation. And then I came back, had that Monday off, and then had to spend Monday night doing a quarterly release for work that I'd worked on oh. for three months previous. So. so you had the Monday off, but you worked the night? Yeah, that's why we didn't play last week, actually, <laughs> is, uh, is I was out of commission. Went quicker than expected, and stuff hasn't blown up yet, so that's a good sign. But, uh, yeah, it sucked not being able to, to play with you guys. But um, other than that, not a whole lot new. I'm going to be restarting my Thursday night campaign with Mr. Jimmy in tow. And, uh, Mr. And, Jimmy. And I look, <laughs> I, like forward, I look forward to seeing what troll character he comes up with next. <laughs> a, <laughs> we actually play a, troll, a literal yeah. troll, yeah. I was a say. literal <laughs> troll, okay. <laughs> Like a little one, not, you know, not a full <laughs> Yeah, but a three-foot troll that hides under a bridge. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it for me. Cool. To me. How's the baby? How's, how's Tristan? Tristan's good. Tristan's uh, four-month birthday, wow. quote-unquote, is, is uh, a week from Wednesday. Already? Oh, wow. That's crazy. It's we take him to the doctor on that day, and he gets stabbed over and over with vaccines. So that's... Yeah. <laughs> vaccines, yeah. Uh, it's, it's good that you're vaccinating your child. Audrey says hi. Oh. Uh, hi, Audrey. Hi. The baby says hi too. Oh, hi, Tristan. Uh, yeah. Little Jimmy. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I guess some things have been going on in my life. I couldn't tell you what they are. So <laughs> I'm gonna hand it off. I, I take care of the baby during the day. I, you know, hang out at night. Repeat. Nice. It sounds like you are in need of some Dungeons and Dragoning. Yeah, actually what I'm in need of is uh is baseball season to start. Mm. I bought tickets. Preach it. I'm, Preach it. I'm 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 feeling it. Uh Travis. The Nationals play their first exhibition game in spring training on Wednesday this week. Not being aired on TV, but it will be on the radio, so Nice. Yep. Like baseball, I've always thought baseball is a good radio sport because it's and some of the best radio voices yep. are. Yeah, but it it sort are, of falls into a cadence too. You know, it's not like football hi. where you. Oh. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. My God, he's a lot bigger than the last time I saw. Oh yes, dude's already <laughs> doubled his birth weight, which more is the, than more than doubled oh. it. The target is. Like double, we want to see the baby. It's actually an official term. A baby is not thriving or fail, failure to thrive if they don't double their birth weight by four months. He doubled it probably by three months. So like, he's exploding. Uh, Eat more food. That's good. Well, he was born. Was he born pretty small? Yeah, he's premature too. Remember? That's right. Yeah, that's by right, like two so. weeks or something. I remember. Yeah, six weeks. Two weeks oh. actually wouldn't be considered <laughs> premature. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's. I mean, you guys will get to meet him. I guess that's the news. I know, is in like a month's time, they're gonna 
we're gonna have some friends over. So gotta be careful, Kevin. I'll get back to you after this. I'll text you the information you need. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. But I'm just giving you a heads up. F- yeah, figure out if I need to. I think you like, do. Because of Tristan's, it's the Tristan, role. they need Tristan's social security number to. Like, they want to make sure he hasn't had any. Threat? They want to make sure he hasn't had any arrested, baby. no terrorist <laughs> connections. All right. Yeah. What if he has like some contacts in Syria? Yeah. I mean, come on. Have, have you? Might. Did you properly vet him when you met him? I do know it. My <laughs> approval should be a piece of cake. Recently, have you? <laughs> my approval should be a piece of cake because I've had a because I've had a security clearance in the past. Yeah, so. security clearance. Expired last year. Oh, mine mine expired too, hon. Yeah, Audrey and I have both been security cleared. So. Are you guys spies? Nice. I was gonna say, so so you're formerly CIA. <laughs> I can't talk about that on the air. Okay. <laughs> no, no, see, I'd, tell was you, my, uh, I'd tell see, you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> see, one of them was CIA, the other one is MI6, and then well, they met somewhere, and you know the rest in spy movies. Wow. So Jimmy, you've been covering up that accent for two and a half years. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you cover it up for long enough, and you lose it. Yeah. Like apparently, uh, what's his face? I can't remember the actor's name, but there was some story on Reddit that came across. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I got nothing entirely. real. We could just go off, you know, chatting because I, we haven't gotten to all chat together in a while. Yeah. But yeah. moving on, all right. Kevin, who's okay. next? Josh, you've been working. You, you know, uh, I, as much as it's like, it's a pain I know for you to like work the extra day and we couldn't play, but like, it's good that. They can do that, like have someone off take off time when they have a baby, and, you, and you'll cover that. So oh, well, good, good for you. It's it's not good for you. It's not that I was working at extra days that they took one of my normal days. All right, like shift around, that day. shift around, whatever. Like that's but, important. Yeah, it's important. So I mean, that's retail though, so you know. But um, yeah, like so, uh, some stuff has happened. I've had a guest from Rockhampton come down for a week or two. She goes back, I believe, in tomorrow. Um, let's see, what else is there? Um, well, it looks a little bit uh, like I'm, you're on the face of the sun. Because I was gonna it's say, so you're bright. Like bathed in our so You know, you've uh, heard about the ozone in, the in Australia. It's <laughs> thinner there. I was gonna say, aren't you a That's redhead? Tough. Isn't that unhealthy? <laughs> so, um, Why would you make him close his blinds? He plays D&D. Gonna, he can a, use the sunlight. <laughs> I was gonna say, I gotta tweak my cut in a little bit. Um, but let's see, what else was there? Um, I got a little bit salty at North America, actually, because about you guys got a game out that doesn't come out over here for a few months still yet. But that's kind of okay. always us. That's like every that's weekend. Like always now. us. No, no, no. <laughs> actually, normally, normally it's only a day or week difference in the most parts. This one is Fire Emblem, and we're still talking like oh. haven't got it. We're sorry. And it's just not me. Like it's the like EU as well. Haven't got it yet. I was gonna say, how's that so late for you? It's made in fucking Japan, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. That's the my point. The major distributors no that idea. go to like the Western countries, of which I'm and... in Australia, and they always distribute later to Australia is always last. What I'm surprised about is that any of the news, like gaming news or otherwise, isn't like three months behind everybody well, else, I just mean... so they like don't know that what they're missing. I mean, Australia's not always us. I got XCOM 2 before any of you guys. I know that one for a fact, because I was chatting with... Yeah, but um, I don't think any of us play groups. XCOM. Yeah, so suck it. Really? Wow. <laughs> uh, you guys play XCOM 2? No, uh, I, I, I like played. games I that fan. don't, you know, try and bone you up the rear end. <laughs> oh, well, that, that, that's a different... So you play D&D! Grabs. Come on now. Yeah. Hey, but... no, I run D&D. <laughs> um... The only other thing I can think of is that uh, I think uh, last weekend I actually went out and bought a dash cam. Cool. Oh, man, it's yeah. going to be like Russia where yeah. people jump in front of your car now. So, so when you get the meteor no, I mean... striking Australia on cam, you're going <laughs> to... Dude, that was insane. Had... <laughs> that was pretty crazy. We just, yeah. had, we just had way too many idiot drivers, and then after an incident that happened, I'm not even going to bother going into it. Um, you know, we just said enough's enough. I'm sick of this. Sorry. Right. I'm gonna record your ass and put you on YouTube. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna well, lie. I, don't I, like... you, actually. <laughs> I uh, yeah, I I watch those like Russian like car crash compilations, and it's so cathartic. I don't know why, yeah, but it's just great. so great. <laughs> I mean, I haven't had an incident yet since I've had the dash cam in the car, but I'm just waiting for it, and then I'm probably going to, uh, well. I'll 
eviscerate him on social media. So, I would go to the cops if it's something that's, you know... Oh, that, that too, but, you know... That's the problem, though. I've heard cops can't do anything with dash cam footage because they have to witness it. Uh, that would be like quite... saying... That would be like... Happen. But that would be like saying, oh, someone robbed your convenience store? Well, I wasn't there. No, 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 no. Just, just for, like, no. auto stuff. Because I have friends with dash no, no, cams. Um, they, they've seen cars hit speeding, people. Speeding. They've turned in the cops. Speeding. And they've said we can't do yeah. anything. I mean, speeding might be one thing because obviously there's no way to actually record the speed that they're going. But if, like, someone runs into someone else and, you know, that's totally different. I don't know. Maybe the cops can't do anything, but if you're looking to get damages in, like, civil court, that's probably, I would that, imagine. Oh, yeah. That's probably strong. much better. Right? Like this, well. I was just sitting at the light and then this guy rear-ended me and I've got it all on camera. Like, I'm pretty yeah, sure like, that would be... Civil like, suits... Absolutely, I think that would hold up, but yeah, I, I mean, I've heard stories of, like... If the person like, leaves the scene of the accident, then cops can definitely do something, because that's illegal, and that's just proof mm -hmm. that they left the scene of the accident, so... But it, it depends on what they do, but I would definitely take it to the cops. Like, cops is, like, ten minutes away from my house, so... You know, I just go, here, USB stick. <laughs> Enjoy. So that's pretty much about it, besides work sort of getting slightly annoying. But, you know. Just slightly? <laughs> well, I mean, the little guy is really cute. Oh, I should say she is very cute and kind of quiet, so, you know. The, okay. um, the cool. baby that I'm basically having I, to take over for because... I was going to say, what, what, what is this now? <laughs> I mean, you uh, I, 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 no, Everyone's I mean, like, I'm not, not going to ask. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm covering for someone on my turn anyway, but she comes in every now and then and brings the okay. one in. So. That makes a lot more sense. He was bartering okay. and somehow got a baby out of the... <laughs> oh, good. No, no, but thank is that you. a good trade or a Don't worry about it. I mean, it depends. No, thank you. Like, you like I have... I have four nieces and nephews. I don't need one of my own now. Thank you. I was going to say, <laughs> I thought you had, like, a pretty big family, so... Oh, Allison. All right, me. You've, um, well, I've heard rumors that you've started your own Twitch venture. Yeah, but of course, like right the first day I decided to start streaming, I got like I got sick. <laughs> I have been dealing with oh, like God. a cold the past two weeks, and I've just been sleeping like constantly, like going to bed early or taking like a three hour nap when I get home just because I have no energy to even like make food. Um, cause work just like was killing me and just being so tired all day. Um, but now I'm feeling better. So I'm hoping to start streaming again. Um, after, you know, one time. There's some chaos um, happening upstairs. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alrighty. Right. Um, otherwise, uh, big news is I will be going to the NALCS finals oh, in Las Vegas. Oh. Yeah. So I'm going to that. I'm going to Vegas from, I think it's April 15th to the 18th. So Friday to Monday. Um, and whenever they put out tickets, I'm also going to World Finals, which is in Los Angeles. Hey, so, is that? so I'm going to be doing that. So lucky. So lucky. So, so when so I'm is super that? Uh, it's like October or something. Um, so it's far enough in advance that I can resave money, but for for the NALCS finals, um, I got extra tickets so that I can flip them for more money nice. once they're all sold out. Nice. Because I, well, thankfully though, because my boyfriend he got tickets, but he didn't realize that there was different tickets for Saturday and Sunday. He thought they were all like like the whole weekend was one ticket, so he got Saturday tickets. But he didn't realize that there were he needed Sunday tickets as well until after like they were sold out. So thankfully I got them. <laughs> so I at least get to flip my Saturday tickets. Is it tickets. in the Staples Center again? I have no idea. In, I don't in, remember. In LA? I think so. That sounds okay. right. Because I, I, I went I went and was in the Staples Center back when I lived in uh LA area. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So yeah. Um uh, I don't think anything else. I'm so salty uh, about the yeah, everything's in, in NA, basically. So, <laughs> so Canada's like, what about us? And they're like, no. Eh. We're so, Australia, come on. Eh. No Never one wants to Australia. deal with the visas. Like, why Why would you want to have to get visas to the, to the U.S. and Canada? Visas, yeah. man. All, like, just How do no. they work? How do it's they hard work? enough as it is. Fucking magnets. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. I, have a, I have a funny visa story. It's actually not mine. It's Audrey's. But she had to travel to for work to Ghana at one point. 
Uh, yeah. For she uh, had some unexpected travel to Ghana. No, she went to Ghana for a project she was working. And project she had to get a visa ahead of time. Leader. And she had to get... Overthrow government. She had to, like... For a lot of countries, you have to get, like, approval... Like, from, like, the president of the country. So, like... And not only that, the visa office had... Uh, the Ghanaian, now the embassy, we're in D.C., so, like, you don't just have to find a consulate wherever, like, there's going to be an embassy for every country here. The embassy was only open from, or their their website hadn't been updated or, or like, done anything to since, like, 1999. Nice. And their, their, uh, uh, their visa issuing hours were, like, 4 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. on Wednesdays. Mm twice a month or something like ridiculous <laughs> like that and you're like wow what so i mean yeah. i can't imagine Mrs. that man what the fuck Ghana just for the lulls like yeah wow <laughs> cool uh all right well travis right. durian's gonna wreck, wreck some things hand it off Good. travis take it away where are we all at right where are we at yeah, so where last we left off, our intrepid adventurers were still on the spell scarred planes. Mm. Um, you guys had gathered up all of the components that you had been out here searching for. Um, you were basically gathering stuff to um, help with medical supplies in the um, the uh, theocracy of Ariadnish. And um, and the the kind of the country itself was kind of been hit by this influx of uh, refugees from the uh, Palatinus Taurus War. So uh, you guys volunteered to um, go out into the plains, gather these rare ingredients, and basically help with the relief effort. Um, it's been a few weeks now. Uh, you guys um, managed to get yourselves separated with uh, three of you getting trapped underground with a uh, a group of Kind of like rat slash mole people. Um, squirrels, I thought. Not squirrels. They they distinctly do not have fluffy tails. Oh, um, that's why I always pictured them. Wow. I always pictured <laughs> them as talking squirrels. Nice. I sent a picture along. Anyway, um, <laughs> Buck managed to ride away on Firefoot and uh, was not with you guys when you went underground. Um, he had been uh, talking with, um, had met up with and started talking to Hextia, who you guys had ran into um, before. She seems kind of like this this weird hermit witch type person. Um, and while there, Buck and her uh, <laughs> experienced the power of a certain um, nexus of magical energy that sort of exists out on these planes. Um, and had had some fun conjuring up um, uh, small, colorful critters anytime they use magic. Uh, eventually, uh, Hextia had her hut, which uh, can rise up on these massive legs, start moving uh, back toward where you guys originally met her, which had a, a very different kind of magical property to the area. And on the way, uh, Buck saw smoke on the horizon. Um... Eventually, after he investigated, he found and reunited with the rest of the party, and you guys finally managed to escape the caves. Um, after talking to Hexty a bit, you um, decided to follow up on your oath to help these underground dwellers with, uh, with their problem, which, um, which was, as they told you, that they were missing a, a man named Plergoth, who was kind of a a sage or a wise man um, for their community. And they think that the encroachment of these kind of strange sort of fiery dragon creatures may have something to do with his disappearance. Travis. Yes. When, they, when we first <clears throat> discussed about this, they were talking with these fire creatures. Did they ever say they were reptilian Dragonish. I got the impression they were like living beings of fire. They spoke oh, draconic. Right. When, well, when we met them, but when the squirrel, when the mouse, rat, mole people told us about them, no, fire beings. She didn't say anything about. Them. Okay. All right. I, they, I wasn't. They sure. did. They did describe them as um, scaly and winged, if I remember correctly. But I'm not sure. Uh, I think someone had a, a role that they biffed, and and the connection wasn't 
was not made until you saw them. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, but um, but after you did, like you you get the impression that these things are are some kind of dragon. Uh, the two you ran into look a little something like that. Um, and yeah, so uh, when you guys said that you were going to head back down underground, um, Hextia did a little weave of magic um, and cast a spell on you, turning you all into dark elves. Um, you guys don't feel any different uh, other than your your like outside look has been altered. So yeah, you, you guys are all disguised as drow. Your weapons and armor have changed to kind of appropriately suit uh, suit your new look. And yeah, I think you guys were heading back underground tonight was the plan. Correct. So I think mm -hmm. that's where we'll take it away. You guys are uh, just approaching the, the tunnel you climbed out of by a, a small series of rocks out on the plains. Um, and as you... You know, walk around the rocks. You see the the tunnel leading back underground, a uh, uh, kind of a plume of of not super thick, but like sort of faint smoke coming out of it. Nothing new there. Nope. <laughs> looks looks the same as last time you were here. <laughs> what cool. do you guys do? I find my pencil to take notes. <laughs> um. So so now that we're disguised, um. As Drow, uh, I have my note as well. Just a reminder: I left Firefoot with Hexia. Yep. Um, I guess. And we haven't for... slept, right? No, I thought we did. We I went. We, we like walked pretty far away because I wrote new spells down. Got it. That's Got what it. I accidentally meant to whisper to Travis that I posted it in the chat to everyone. Got it. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant to whisper it to you, but I forgot when you like break the line, it starts a new message. Ah. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. So, uh, um, so yeah, you you guys, I think, you had enough time to rest. Yeah, Hextia said that the the spell she cast on you would last uh, a couple of days. So you have some time, but not a whole lot. Okay. Um, I guess we just get. I, I would probably like just clap and be like, "All right, guys, let's uh, let's go. You want to do this? Um, might as well get started now. We only have a couple of days." Less, more, who knows? So, do we look like exactly the same facially, but just dark, or do we look um, like a new, I'm, a new person? Yeah, I mean, you you guys have all been altered to look like um, the standard dark elves. So maybe Caben and and Fawn might look, or Caben and Buck, I guess, might yeah. look fairly similar to what they did before. But uh, that's the Durian, real question: is uh, does Buck's drow form take a man or a woman form? <laughs> oh. oh, you can't I, tell. <laughs> I I don't think it would change your gender. So, Buck. That's what Buck we thought simple. until Fawn became Buck. I'm just <laughs> saying. Yeah, that's a point to take, actually. No, All right, so we're the same gender that you were before the spell was cast. <laughs> As we're walking, I was just asked during like, okay, so we can. If we meet these dragon things again, we can play it off that we're not the ones that attack them, right? Uh, we can play it so off, that, but we that... don't have any reason to be inquiring after Plaregoth the Wise. I'm just saying, maybe they won't attack us right out. I don't know how looking like this filthy form is going to help us. Mm, well, right. well you're, I guess we're the halfway there, is... Darian, right? Well, uh, sometimes the, uh... we're living on a prayer, all right? <laughs> Let's press on. The um, other question would be, even though we look different, do we smell the same? <laughs> you smell uh, like I, 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 I was, body odor. Odor. I was being yeah. quite serious, by the way. Caben smells the typical outdoor, I'm pretty dirty, sure any sort of smells. No, and I like, say this, I say, Nina, I'm, most spells that change appearance, uh, it's not just visual, it's, unless it's an illusion, but I don't think this is. I, I can see my own arm and it looks drow uh, most of those things your voice has changed your 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 outward appearances that any of the senses would detect other than magical are yeah, altered I, as well like, do you still have that, 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 that weird hair 
Uh, like I said, you guys look like normal drow. Um, yeah, still very cute. But you'd you'd have to. You'd have to see. No, he means the fur that he was like growing. the fur that Durian had been oh, yeah, growing. Yeah, so right. both. I forgot about that. Yeah, both Caban and Durian had been uh, turning a little more more her suit than normal. Um, <laughs> you know, this, I totally this, blocked that out. Yeah, this this entire area has some very strange magical stuff going on. Um, and yeah, you you guys look normal, smooth skinned uh, as you would expect a, a drow too. But who yeah. knows what you'll look like when you transform back. So we do we do or we don't? You don't have it now. You look okay. like a normal drow. Okay. Like well, like I was just saying, that like if this new appearance changes our scent, you know, maybe we can play it off. And if it doesn't, then well, you know, if they notice that we smell the same, well These don't look like friendly creatures that are just give passes to They were talking some... to me first, Madam. Yeah, they were toying with us, and for whatever reason, I couldn't yeah. convince them otherwise. Yes, oh, we can were, go back and try, but what's our ruse here? What's our play? We're trying to, like, free Plergoth, and I don't think that... I don't think that this uh, mama dragon that's down there, or whatever it is, is gonna just say, Oh, you're drow. Here he is. No worries. So we gotta have some play. What are we after? Perhaps a bounty of some sort. Well... I honestly don't think that's going to work. I just think we honestly go in sort of like we did with Recumen, fast and hard, and try and catch it off by surprise. But Well, I mean, we could always do that. I, mean, I, so I think that's going to happen, but this actually might have some... Wait, what if... Do we have anything that would be bargainable? We have mm. a bounty we're trying to collect, uh, an honor killing, perhaps, and we want Plaregoth to pay for something. Guys, yeah, is it possible yeah. that Player Goth is a drow? Well, who knows? So you're telling me I, you I don't know, to find this guy and you don't even know these details? Some well, of us didn't I run away, right? I mean, Some of us would ask for details before trying to rescue someone from who the hell knows who. They're well, squirrel people. I don't... They weren't going to have anything intelligent to say. Well, There's a noted Durian. sage who's not of them, and in agreement to get us out, they said free him. They said a, a sage, a wise man. Uh, clearly, Hextia knew him, and... Some people would call you a wise man. Does that mean that you're some special <laughs> sage? I think most people call me a wise ass, but... <laughs> <laughs> that might be true, true, but in all seriousness, I think the... But I'll show the them all. Be... I, th I think the whole thing might be moot anyway, because I highly doubt the dragon's going to give up what it has. Well, I say like, we go in and try. Um, the younger ones were clearly willing to barter. Um, they were interested in games of chance. And how did that go? They almost took it. What is that noise? Yeah, sorry, that's going to be a, a problem. Up. No, no, it's... It's going to be a problem all night, guys. It's just every 15 minutes, there's going to be a beep. So just... That's fine. It's my, my Fios box has... It needs power to work, but it has a battery backup, kind of like a smoke detector, and its battery is low, and I just haven't crawled under my desk to try and fix it. So <laughs> okay. it, it's just going to happen. Oh, no worries, no worries. There's beeps because I don't want to go under my desk. I'm mean, oh, sorry. Try Anyways, go on. <laughs> I still like, know where the batteries go. Them. I'd have to look around. I'm um, anyway. Okay, um, rain it in, guys. So I was yeah, say, sorry. we can try, but I get the feeling the second that we mention Claire Goff, I think it. I think that in all seriousness, the jig is just going to be up, and we're going to be in for one hell of time. You may be right, and so that's fine. We should have, we should have a plan to try, right? Right, and so my that's plan B. We'll do that, but if we if plan A works. I'm clearly the best talker of us all here, and I would ask you to trust me. I will try to strike a deal in order to obtain Player Goth. I don't think it'll go over, but since we're already planning on it not going over anyway, we have nothing to lose. Well, the Except only thing I can think of would be the... Well, lives, yes, but also the element of surprise would be lost, which could actually make a difference. We know so little about what's under there, the chances of us actually being able to surprise a, what I believe to be an adult dragon who's probably pissed off at the death of one of their children. Yeah. Very unlikely, anyway. 
None of us here are competent thieves. Why didn't we ask Hexia for, like, this invisibility or something? We asked her for any aid she could give, and this is what she gave. I, she's intelligent. She knew who we were after and probably knows why he's down there and who has him. Plaregoth, that is. So maybe this is meant to help us. All uh, right. You know, I'm besides... I, I suppose the one who's constantly turning invisible could probably tell you the limitations of invisibility. I mean, I'm sure limitations, but that seems... If if that if like like you said if that Unless was I could more turn able myself to be surprised, I'd rather be a drow be and then go invisible than just be invisible. I can do that any day. Let's do the Travis. What do I know? What do I know about the drow? Um, give me a knowledge local. Do they do they live? I know we met them in the rift. They live underground in the underdark, or what I know about the underdark, whatever. Give me a roll. We'll see. All right, knowledge local. Yeah, because uh, local is about people and places. Okay. Plus zero. Oh! <laughs> Killing it! Okay. Wow. I was going to offer yeah. the roll, but that you critted it. doesn't so, matter. Wow. So, yeah, you, you definitely know uh, and have heard some things about the drow. So you've encountered them before. Um, you've observed them uh, outside the rift in Palatinus, which is like kind of a, you know... Uh, a much shorter version of the Grand Canyon, right? It's this big hole in the ground that goes super deep um, and, and goes into, like, a series of caverns and stuff. Um, and, yeah, you, you do know that the, the drow tend to live underground. Um, they're sensitive to sunlight. Um, luckily, you guys are out here on the plains, and it's, you know, it's kind of like twilight at this point. So mm -hmm. the fact that it's overcast and not very bright here anyway is is definitely helping you. Um, but so it would yeah. affect us. What's that? The sunlight issue would affect us. You don't, don't know. Don't you know. haven't been outside no, in okay. sunlight as this form. Um, but yeah, you know that the the drow are a race of uh, of underground dwelling elves. Um, they xenophobic uh, are... in a sense. Yeah, you you know that they're not they're not friendly with outsiders. Um, generally speaking, drow would be. Uh, if not interrog if if not killed on sight on the surface, they definitely be interrogated or harassed. Um, it's it's rare to to see one above ground when you know near settlements. Yeah. Um. And yeah, you you know that they're uh, basically anatomically they're they're elves. They have some slight differences, but uh, but you haven't so much been transformed into one is made to look like one. Like I said, you guys don't feel um, all that different at the moment. Okay. Uh, yeah, whether they know or not, I just spout off about what I know about Drown. This yeah. I think this... Haven, what do you, you, you got a natural 20, so um, do you have one question you would like to ask me? So, so, Caben, oh, so Caben, Caben just, rattles... Give me just a sec. Yeah. Oh, um, okay, I was gonna ask. I'm, I'm like, like, as, in character, question. I was gonna ask questions. And I know, but that. I think he doesn't want you telling me what okay. to ask. Um, hmm. It's hard because I don't know anything about Flare Goth really to ask. Um, ask the meaning of life. Yeah, what is the meaning of the drought's life? Seven. Um, it's, it's forty-two, isn't it? Yeah, it is good. I mean, I, if that's uh, actually your question, I can answer it. But would you know? It's up to no, you. No. Um. Okay. So I guess to go along with this plan, or maybe thinking of this, like drow hunting party seeking vengeance for something. Have I heard stories of like, like what? What would prompt a a drow party get sent out to leave their their home and may not come out to the surface, but close to the surface and hunt or retrieve a uh, a person or a being uh ser service to their their um uh i i don't know if you'd call her a deity or a demon but uh Lolth, the spider queen okay um service to her would definitely be a big motivating factor in uh okay sure. in i mean like service to her but like yeah what what could they whether i mean if she just tells us to do that cool but like is there something that would like piss off the drow to, like, have us reactionary to come out to get someone. Um, maybe, uh, Priestess of Loth would think that this guy is valuable, you know? 
It's Plergoth the Wise. Maybe they want to extract wisdom from him. Maybe uh, you're looking for him for information. Maybe, yeah, he just smudged someone's shoe when walking through the drow city. I, I don't know. That's up to you to make up. Okay. But, um, you know, service to the, the basically the Church of Lolth would be yeah. uh, a convincing back set for a story. Okay. Well, I, I share that information and I, I comment in saying I, I think this uh, maybe sort of a cover story of a hunting party of of Drow coming to uh, mm-hmm. seek uh, maybe a flare off the, the priestess thinks he has something to offer. Offer Lolf hey, and we, this we is, come this and take is, him by force because we want to know. This is this is good. I, I think we can use this. Um, guys, I think our play is we... Because it's possible that the... that Especially in the spell scarred plains, we've already found underground caverns. It, there might be drow around. We don't know if Plaregoth is drow or not, but it's possible that this dragon being has had dealings with the drow in the past. Being not necessarily... Being of the same environment. So... I'm not going to claim to know him or her or anything, but I think if we say that we are on, uh, we are servants of Louth and this, we have come to collect this man for, for humbly, uh, we humbly come to the dragon. Do we need the, the mother's name? If we did, I've forgotten it. <laughs> All right. It's a, it's a, well, never mind. I wasn't there. Ah, the meta gaming. The lack of yes, I yeah, say. Yeah, I was talking. I was like, wait. No, 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 <laughs> Plus, right. if we... um, Travis. Yeah. Can I make a check to see what I know about Drow, seeing as my main um, nemesis or group of people I don't like in my backstory are are dwarves. Obviously, they tend to be in mountains, tend mm-hmm. to go underground. Mm-hmm. Um, perhaps I would have encountered Drow, uh, dead or alive, uh, while fighting my enemies. Is Would you say that's a... I, I would actually say that the dwarves are very populous and they would keep away any Drow, but I'll let you make the same roll Caban made, so no advantage or disadvantage. Uh, what did he make again? Knowledge local. She slaughtered the poor hill dwarves for me. She killed them all. Well, now. I did no such thing. A little. Just a little. 18. Yeah. I mean, uh, everything that Caban has said you think is accurate. Um, okay. I'm, I'm not sure you gain any uh, information on Does she got uh, a question? Him. Uh, you do know that it's pronounced Lolth, and if uh, Durian continues to mispronounce it, it will m- break your cover. <laughs> Did I not say Lolth? Allison cringed IRL. Lolth. You like, you, yeah, you said That's Lolth, what I just... and I was like, what Lolf. the fuck is that? L- wait, wait, L- what, what? Lolth. Lolth. <laughs> you guys are both saying Lolf. different things now. What's the correct way? Lolth. Lolth. Okay. More O. Got it. Yeah. L-O-L. That's L-O-L. Ow. L-O-L-T-H. <laughs> Lolf. Okay. That no, I know how it's spelled, West. but in that spelling, Lauf is a perfectly reasonable. Lau and Lol could be a. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, Lolf, we're a bunch of nerds. <laughs> I say, yeah, that this is this was the nerdiest <laughs> moments, guys. I was about to go off on dialects and linguistics and stuff, and then I, I <laughs> abort, abort. So I, I just say to the party, I have a plan. But I need you all to back me up. This could be sensitive. I'm not going to put us in... We're already going into danger. I'm not going to make our danger unnecessarily more risky. We know what the bad outcome is. So just follow my lead, okay? All right, but I guess... When he, uh, says, when he says follow my lead, I'm just like... Oh, <laughs> okay, cool. Buck, so- you can slap your forehead all you want. You've been following my lead since you joined this party. So just keep <laughs> doing what you do, all right? All right, I will oh, keep feeling things. Yeah, so look where that ends up her. Weapons to face stab. <laughs> cool, yeah, so you guys, uh, I take it you start heading underground? Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. All right, awesome. Yeah, you, you start walking back down the tunnels. Um, 
uh, toward the cavern you were in before, and um, Nina, you know, you're you're kind of like probably reflexively pulling out a torch as you go, you know, you're used to not being able to see shit down here. Um, and surprisingly, you're probably the first to notice, um, you, as, as you go further down, you can see just fine here in the dark. Um, your oh. vision sort of strangely goes from, like, color to, to black and white. Um, but yeah, you notice, and then, um, later on, kind of the rest of you sort of notice as you're going, uh, you can all see in the dark, which is, um, something you weren't able to do before. Hmm. Well then. That's handy. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys uh, go down, and um, uh, as the tunnel kind of winds its way down, it opens back up into the uh, cavern that you got, saw before. Um, stalagmites sticking out of the floor, uh, a small like river of lava slowly kind of uh, bubbling along the floor and, and sliding uh, downward down a, a little like uh, burned-out tunnel in the ground. Um, and then, yeah. This is the area where I'm, where I met up with them is what you're... Yeah, the okay. area where you were, were fighting the, uh, okay. uh, the two before. And then, yeah, as you, um, get down into that room, there's a, a similar tunnel that kind of snakes down right next to this one that continues going down deeper. Um... And then there are two side tunnels that kind of split off, and that was the way you guys came up into here originally. <laughs> Yeah, okay. we go down the deeper tunnel. All right. Awesome. Um, cool. Yeah, you, you guys start walking down there. Um, yeah, so uh, as you go, um, Nina, can I get a perception check from you? I think it's plus five still, it's not. Uh, you'd have to look at your character sheet, buddy. I do not have them memorized. And five seems high with someone as low of wisdom as you. Yeah, that's because I put points into it, though. Yeah, yeah, you may well have. Yeah, plus five. Cause I, it got to a point where I just got fed up not being able to see anything, so I started <laughs> dumping points into it. Yep. And then you roll a three. So, cool, yeah, you, you guys uh, continue down the tunnel. Um, and eventually it stops, like, going deeper down and starts to uh, to level out. Um, and you guys walk along for a while. Uh, you eventually get to a, um, kind of a, an intersection, a Y, sort of. Uh, one tunnel heads off sort of straight, and then another, uh, keeps going down lower. Um, which do you pick? I let Durian decide. I kind of, like, point to him and, and gesture oh. at the, Can uh, we perceive pathways. any, like, noises, temperatures... Well, um, my question would be, can the skilled rangers find any evidence of a certain dragon-like creature leaving a trail? Yeah, I mean, he's flying, so... I don't know, but like he anything, the roof or anything could be question. more... Hey, maybe something went this way. Sure, um, give me a, uh, a perception check. Uh, I guess, who's looking for it? I'm just here for the ride, so I, I am probably... for sure, but I think Nina yeah, is too. Yeah, Sure, why don't both of you give me a perception check? Uh, yeah, because this can now go so well. It's okay, Josh, you're real better uh, than me with my 13. <laughs> yep. yep. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you just suck at perception checks. It's just, it's just official. He's trying really hard. Haven the perceptive is not very perceptive. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do find that funny that the fake elf beats the real elf in a game of perception. <laughs> Yeah, Nina, you're you're sort of looking around, um, and you do see some some scratches in the dirt. Um, they it looks like they actually lead off um, in both directions. Some of them go down, and some of them go up. Um, and it does look like um, the the direction for the ones that kind of go up came out of the tunnel going downward and into the one going across. Okay. Um, I have to ask, do any of them look, like, bigger than the other? Like, the scratches seem about the same, like... No. I, I, I guess I asked the difference between cobalt and dragon. Also. Are there any that are this wide, Travis? <laughs> they all seem very small. Okay. Okay. Then again, the two uh, things you fought weren't very large, either. Sure. Yeah. Um, I guess I... Let the party know and 
I still have no clue, so I defer to the party. I defer to Durian. Like, we're, we're so I was actually I was actually looking something up and typing, so I didn't hear the description of the two passageways. So one kind of continues level on the way you guys are going. So you went down from the room where you fought the dragons down mm -hmm. a tunnel that leveled out. Um, so mm -hmm. this way looks like it just keeps going on kind of the same uh, horizontal plane, whereas the other tunnel goes downwards and deeper. And they're both equally wide. Yeah, all of the tunnels here seem uh, quite uniform in size you know they're rough hewn out of rock but they're all about um like 15 feet in diameter you know uh, so it's, it's maybe because it's round it's maybe comfortable enough for you to walk single file maybe two because you know the side slope but um yeah they're 15 foot diameter tunnels i look at everybody and i say we have to go deeper yeah. But and not, and I, I go down the, the left or whichever one leads deep downwards. Yeah, sure. You you take a left and start going down deeper uh, into the bowels of the earth. Um, awesome. Can I get perception checks from everybody? Ah, shit. Of course, you make me use the 20. Guys, I went, I went to the right way. <laughs> oh, I got to what you perceive along this path. Right or wrong. Which is a miracle. Oh, that's right. Plus 11. Lightning does strike places once, Joe. <laughs> Apparently 27. So. 17. What do my drow eyes see? <laughs> oh, drow eyes. Your special drow eyes. My special drow eyes. They're like um, dog eyes. Everything's black and white. Yeah, so, so you notice as you're going down the tunnel um, that there are like areas of it um, dug out. And it looks like um, some of them are, there's sort of gouges here and there. Um, but as you continue along, it sort of flattens out and the, the floor of the tunnel is, uh, you know, the it's flattened out to make it basically 15 feet wide and then sort of curving up like the rest of the tunnels do. I have a um, question. Yeah. When you say dugout, what do you mean? Do you mean like looks like you know shovels, or dugout by animals or creatures, or this caves on natural formation? Yeah, like the 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 tunnels are all naturally circular, and okay. it looks like they're uh, from the start here. It looks like um, yeah, the it's been sort of squared off on the bottom. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and uh, as you go along, you see evidence of like work here and there. You know. Um, bits of metal that look like maybe it was a, a broken pickaxe or something, um, lying and, you know, laying on the ground and, uh, you know, maybe a broken piece of wood here and there that looks like it was the haft of something. Okay. Um, and yeah, as you're going along, you, uh, do spot up ahead of you guys, maybe a hundred feet or so around a corner, uh, you do see a, uh, I guess it would be like a quintet of uh, small reptilian form sort of working on uh, digging out uh, a side tunnel to the one you're in. Well, I can tell I kind you of nudged are, I'm pretty sure I ran into one before, didn't I not, Travis? You did. Nudge Durian, all right. Your time to talk. Well, hey guys, those are the things I ran into. Yeah, Ni Nina, you would um, you knew that it was a, a kobold. You have yeah. fought quite a few before. Yeah, and I recognize. And I'm just saying, them. those are the ones, Those are the things I ran into. All right, all right. Nina, let, let her in. Um, I'm going to hang back about fifteen or twenty feet from Durian, uh, okay. based on like how close he gets to them. Um, sure. Can I actually call you to get a break here? Um, yeah, we certainly yeah. can. It's a little, little early, but because considering we did start, but my yeah, bladder's... Yeah, no problem. No, pain. totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's like a take our first woman. break. Switch will be back right. in about five, seven minutes and find out how well this negotiation goes. Keep your fingers crossed.